Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Dirty Unicorns V3.8 which is based on Android 4.3 and well it is incidentally based on Android AOKP ROM okay so uh, it's quite uh, different from the normal CM based ROMs okay so let's get into it here what you see is the uh, AOSP lock screen which is well standard on all uh, CM based ROM right so let's get to the other ones um, here is the launcher which is of course Debussy launcher and uh, what you see here is the quick uh, quick settings which is this one okay this one uh, what's special about this is that it has features from AOKP ROM and, and it's really a neat package overall okay it has a lot of theming options you have what you can see here is the battery uh, is speedometer racing car racing speedometer style um, battery you have uh, other options too so uh, first of all let's get into settings what you see here is list view which is uh, I uh, customized that one so you can customize the animation so what you see here is dirty unicorns okay uh, you can go to about dirty unicorns for whole lot of features about the developers based on AOKP originally made from uh, all of these all all these devices are supported next is the features okay this is what I want to talk about okay it has pay Facebook sync hack which is uh, like you can you are able to sync your contacts and gallery to Facebook so that's pretty neat expanded desktop that is pie mode okay Hot reboot option, rebun from AOKP, BAMF theme engine, which they call the theme engine in that it has uh, theme uh, capabilities. Okay, customizable quick settings. That is what you saw here. I actually have enabled all of those. So neat, I guess. Now, uh, what else? CM camera mode, CM power uh, widgets, all for uh, CM uh, CM uh, settings. Yes and uh, it has breathing notifications for the notification LED which is really awesome I want that in a uh, phone so that's me uh, slim uh, ROM TDS built in theme in settings okay uh, slim ROM status clock uh, everything like this pretty neat pretty neat okay it's what is available in this okay uh, it has active notes display which is really cool um, I have used it uh, it's it works all the time like most of the times so pretty neat except when you're outdoors it kind of becomes difficult to see difficult to see so yeah that's that so that is the uh, about uh, dirty unicorn right so uh, let's get into the about again okay uh, change log updater you can update from here okay uh, status for the phone everything works I am yeah, everything works now it is Android 4.3 uh, baseband is G2 that is uh, C E E M G2 I don't know okay uh, build version everything pretty neat okay the other in the setting is pretty standard for all the um, Android based ROMs so I'm not going to get too much into that okay what is special is the ROM controls which is well the name is from the AOKP right okay it has a lot of other features too so uh, let's get into the normal features general UI you know what all this is it has MIUI like carrier like you just saw idea there right so it is my carrier and you are able to see that like in MIUI pretty neat you can choose the notification background so pretty neat again there notification count uh, show I me switcher UI mode is for phone tablet and tablet UI okay uh, dual panel mode in settings uh, menu you uh, overflow CRT off uh, animation which is this one I normally keep it disabled because I like the fade animation better which is this one uh, so yeah I use that enable kill all button that is all these options available that is kill all and Google now available there you can see that now and a recent apps menu it does have only 92 megs free but hey it is a heavy ROM a bit of heavy I would say no uh, the next things network speed indicator as you can see here it does have network speed indicator okay uh, how many bytes are being used that thing okay list week this is the animation which I was talking this animation is this one it comes with this I guess 
which is this you have a lot of options with that so you can have these animations stack wave alpha I don't know why alpha is not working I don't know um, something wrong I don't know okay expanded desktop you have the option for that with with status bar without status bar whatever lock screen see through you can have transparent lock screen so with that you will be able to see whatever you were doing like this right pretty neat I'm sorry now uh, lock screen tint color you have tint uh, C lock is with this chronos, chronos clock which is uh, pretty neat again okay then lock screen settings which is supposed to be, uh, supposed to be like AOKP you have all the settings like show all widget that is for the carousel uh, use widget carousel uh, long press action lock screen camera widget volume wake volume next volume controls etc etc so there's a lot of options you can see these pretty neat again pretty standard uh, power menu you have the option to change power menu things uh, navigation bar it does have a navigation bar you have to select that uh, you can you have to add you have to select action recent and then save then enable bar uh, it should come okay uh, yeah here it is you have the options for that pretty neat again you have Google <laughs> now again so you have to install that I haven't installed that yet so it, uh, it is a navigation bar navigation ring uh, again for the uh, lock screen I guess pretty neat again weather options for the lock screen and uh, various places available in this ROM so you have all those settings it's basically uh, it's more about AOKP it is AOKP based ROM so it has a lot of AOKP fu functions so AOKP toggle is for the um, quick settings which is uh, in here you can you even can uh, use yeah this is supposed to be the weather so uh, it's not getting any signal here so uh, the weather as of now you can't use that okay you will be used, able to use the spring need now uh, what else let's see uh, CM toggles is this one these toggles are CM toggles which uh, you can customize and if you don't want it you can just cancel it so uh, you have all these options there the old school CM style so pretty neat again brightness slider location on the bottom okay pretty neat now battery the battery uh, options for battery okay this is what I said uh, what you see here now is the uh, speedometer uh, racing the racing option you can have uh, this thing which is choir mode you can see that that uh, number inside the square it does get depleted so <laughs> pretty neat speedometer again uh, uh, another one it has a needle showing at 98 works pretty neatly uh, circle circle speed animation normal fast whatever uh, you have lot of lot of uh, options for the battery style okay it, it has a gummy style mm, a lot of them all day okay P style it has a lot you can see the list it's endless so practically endless not uh, really okay you, you, you can not show the battery also so you have the option too pretty neat again uh, planet okay I'll be keeping that one for now battery bar location you have the option for battery bar neat uh, clock signal okay animations this is where it gets really serious okay it even gives you a warning that it is not I crap you just I don't know I'm I'm pretty skeptical about that but you can read this I'm not going to say that aloud okay so I'm an Android user so you have these uh, in-depth you uh, choice of animations like uh, open animation close animation all of these are available in the uh, animations menu of the settings which is pretty neat again it's really nice so yeah you can select that you can use that really neat okay it does have halo I haven't installed yeah here it is halo it is uh, I have used uh, the ninja mode which uh, completely blocks out if there are no notifications pretty neat okay active display this was what I was talking about you can have active display um, enabled okay one thing about the active display is that the uh, sensor the proximity sensor is always on with this so uh, not a huge battery drain but there will be a battery drain because the notification uh, the proximity sensor is always on uh, there will be a small uh, dim red light I'm not so sure if you can see that yeah you can see that right if I disable this it's gone 
if I enable it, it's there, right? It's red actually, you might be seeing purple, I don't know. Okay, uh, LED controls are for the notification light. Uh, neat. Okay, uh, rest of all are just AOKP features. Okay, something else, host switcher, okay, you have the option to disable or enable ads in apps. So, uh, if you are rooted already, you do, you might be using a app called AdAway or uh, AdBlock, something like that. It has host files to block the ads in it, so you don't have to worry about it. And if you in future does not want to block ads, you can just turn it off. That's pretty neat again. So, that's cool. Now, uh, this is the theme chooser, which they call the BAMF theme engine. I haven't uh, used any other themes, but I do know that's going to be great. So, performance control is the AOKP feature, which is uh, really neat. You can uh, overclock your CPU, the uh, things, everything, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I personally don't overclock it because yeah it might be bad for your phone okay now suspend action this is something which I really love because I need battery to last right it's like it's not a uh, stock ROM it is a uh, AOKP ROM for that so it will be uh, huge on battery rain not huge but it there will be a pretty good battery rain uh, so you can enable this and um, whenever you uh, lock the phone it can switch uh, uh, the 3G mode to 2G mode to save battery or disable, disable mobile data uh, all, all together. So it's pretty neat. It can also disable GPS. Pretty neat. So um, it's uh, really an awesome feature to save battery. Pretty neat. Okay. Uh, wake lock is something which uh, you might be knowing about. There is a blocker for that. So you can uh, block that up out. So yeah build prop tweaks it is something uh, else okay you have these options for that which is uh, uh, the changing the text in build up prop uh, inside the system folder which uh, changes various things about the phone so that's neat Wi-Fi try interval you can change that all pretty neat uh, pretty standard I guess so yeah that is the ROM control features of the dirty unicorn so pretty neat uh, rest of the things are same as any other AOSP ROM so I don't seem I don't see the reason for it to uh, have too much of significance so but these settings really does make it uh, apart from the other ROMs so that is the uniqueness of this uh, the performance is something which I would beg to judge because I have used N22 benchmark and on stock ROM I got 19 now 18900 which is close to 1900 in this one I got 18600 yeah 18658 which is well I wouldn't say bad but it's still uh, a bit less than which I was expecting uh, not a huge uh, performance ROM but still I did expect a bit more I haven't overclocked it I haven't done any customization to it but it's still uh, there it is 18658 pretty neat pretty acceptable actually okay uh, what else? Uh, apparently, there doesn't seem to be much of bugs. Well, there will be because 4.3 is not available as of yet to our phone, so there might be a few bugs, a uh, few stutters there and here. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. It does have a lot of features. It's a really unique ROM. It's, well, not unique, it is AOKP based. Uh, it has a lot of features. Uh, it is CM10 point uh, like it is AOSP style ROM so if you are for that it's better that you choose this one so uh, I guess that is it about this ROM uh, hope you guys like the video Sorry. so I guess that is it about the ROM uh, let me show you guys the boot animation so uh, yeah reboot animation reboot there is this uh, shutdown animation that is ready unicorn rebooting here is the boot animation which is like this dirty unicorn with that thing. I really can't seem to be able to read that. Okay. Uh, okay. This is the boot animation. Pretty neat AOKP styled but with their own twist. So yeah, pretty neat. So yeah, that booted up really fast, right? So, yeah, that's the difference between using a touch with ROM and the uh, AOSP based ROM. It really fast at the start. Okay. So that's pretty neat. 
So I guess that is it about, yeah, you just saw that, right? Pretty neat. Ah, let me show you guys the uh, active display if I can. Let me, sh let me see. So that is the active display. I just got a text from myself. So yeah, that's pretty neat. I have another sim. So that is active display. What you just saw there, right? That's nice. neat. Here is the uh, weather. So that's really neat too. So I guess that is it about the ROM. Please subscribe, like, and share if you really like it. Uh, hope you to see you guys next time.